Our mission is to regenerate the world's plastic waste into appreciating assets. The world has a huge problem with waste plastic. There's so much of it, we can't recycle it all, it's ending up in our oceans, and CRDC have a solution for that. Beach plastic or environmental plastic, or what we call tragic plastic, can be pretty dirty, can be pretty smelly, it can be sunburned, it can be wet. It can be all, all of those things that the recycling industry won't accept. So we had to find a very robust way to deal with this massive amount of tragic plastic. CRDC are bringing a solution to market, which is allowing them to capture that plastic, rework it into a way that can then be used in concrete which reduces the carbon footprint of concrete, but also takes waste out of the world. The process is pretty simple. We granulate it and we commingle it. We then add some mineral additives, calcium hydroxide and a porcelain ash. It, generally it's 80% plastic and 20% mineral additives. And once we have that all mixed together, we put it in a heat extrusion process and that process increases the temperature to about 240 degrees Celsius. Then it's perfect for us to take and chop up and cut up into the exact size gradation of the sand that we typically use within the industry, whether that be in the asphalt field or in the concrete field. What was unique about what we did is that we worked really closely with the client. We went to visit them in Costa Rica, we went in their lab, really talented young people. It was great to have them there. And, and there we were able to work on it together, like physically roll up our sleeves and get our hands in it to see if it really did work. And it helped us get a really good understanding about them, uh, about who they are and what they're trying to do, and we saw their passion. But it also really helped us to actually understand the science more. The approach that we took was unique in the fact that it moved very much away from what the client was originally doing themselves. So it took their standard approach, but also using a huge amount of technology behind that to really understand what was happening at a crystal level, at a surface level, at a chemistry level, to make sure that the findings were supportable and robust. We needed to come to a company like PA because now what we're trying to do and what we've done is utilize that same little plastic particle, mineral plastic particle, but to absorb, directly absorb CO2 in a very, very simple way. But then when we put that particle into concrete products, it increases its strength. And by increasing its strength, we can drop the cement load. And by dropping the cement load, we drop the carbon load. So PA was fundamental in that. We've been, um, we feel we've been really successful. And CRDC's work is so important because they're really trying to change the world. We're pretty excited. This is a this is a pretty major change within both the waste management and cement sector. So it's interesting that we're going to be able to pull that together and and PA coming to Costa Rica. That was the start. As a business, we're really interested and want to move sustainability forward. It's a real core value for PA, and it's something that. Through our technology and our knowledge, we can really help companies like CRDC deliver change to the world.